teachers and the pastors, you're supposed to shepherd. Hey, David, you shepherd this time, you know. Are you shepherding me or you're being shepherded? <laughs> Do you guide us? And you get your stick and walk behind us and you say, shh, 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 shh. Those who have caused I, I no longer can whistle. They, they do it like <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> do you know why I laugh? In my own classes, because I am alone, most of the times you guys don't attend my things. You're busy. <laughs> to shepherd and guide. And instruct. But don't you worry, I told you, tag me in your things, me I'll attend. Why? I am creative. Why? <laughs> because I put the things that Lord teaches us and practice wisdom. For you, you're like, I am busy. The boss wants to your work. And the Lord is looking like this. <laughs> and the things of God, because we don't see God, we take them for granted. Let me take my sweet time. What is the time? <laughs> it is four back home in Uganda, four PM. <laughs> Number and he did this to fully equip and perfect the saints, God's people for works of service to build up the body of Christ, the church. <laughs> yeah. And he did this to fully equip that. Oh, do you know why we have the fivefold ministries? Eh, church, church, banange. I wish I can get a katut and I put my, my Bible up there and I stop sitting down. This is getting crazy. Eh? Church. Hey, we are finished. We are look it's a devotion helping those who are starting projects. You want people to support you. Make sure everything I read here you represent. <laughs> is in the bracket of starting something new and you want to sell it to someone. <laughs> it is either the word of God, it is either music, it is either baby's clothes, the food you're digging in the garden. There is something you want to sell to someone. Then you start singing those songs. Oh, Genda, Genda! Don't be very careful with that statement. You're going to chase God on a deeper level. Let us leave man's ideologies out. Yes, as they go, don't chase them yourself. Let them go by themselves. Because you're going to give accountability of everyone you chased out. Did you forget that but in the Bible, it is not there. Those who refused to listen to Jesus, he never drove them out. He allowed them to listen so that when that day comes, Jesus never used the statements you're using. Hey, apostles. Class, it said the right doctrine Jesus taught because that ministry you're being proud of is for Jesus, not yours. My friends, my sisters, my brothers, my parents, blood parents and parents in church, parents in business, parents everywhere. Be careful with the gospel you're bringing out. It 
is not written anywhere in the Bible. You're using your ideologies. I told you people were following you people. People after people, people power, people have a people, people, people. Those guys are teaching you with their emotions. The Lord warned me on a particular Tuesday. Esther, if you are in class and you decide to teach with anger and you're full, and you're full of yourself, I am not with you, I am out. Why? Because when you're full of yourself, you do not follow instructions. You're going to tell people the things that are not in the Bible, right? We are going to sing the song. But before we sing the song, let me, let me see here. And he did this. The Lord gave us the fivefold ministries. Now, those who do not respect the fivefold ministries, now let me show you plenty so that you know that you are naked and alone in that ministry you started. And he did this. He gave us the five. He did this to fully equip and perfect the saints. You only respect who? And perfect the saints. Open bracket, God's people, close the bracket, for works of service, comma, to build up the body of Christ, the church. But now some of the churches in the spirit, you're still on the foundation. It is not, it does, it lacks things because the devil kept on stealing the stones, the cement. Why? Because your church does not respect the fivefold ministries. And we found out that in your church, when the five get up, you beat them. They cannot speak. It is only you who speaks. And a few of your friends, your personal friends. Until we all reach oneness in the faith <laughs> and in the knowledge of the Son of God growing spiritually to become a mature believer reaching to the measure of the fullness of Christ, manifesting his spiritual completeness and exercising our spiritual gifts in unity. Number 14, so that we are no longer children, open bracket, spiritually immature, close the bracket, tossed back and forth like ships on a stormy sea and carried about by every wind of shifting doctrine, by the cunning and trickery of unscriptious men, by the deceitful scheming of people ready to do anything for personal profit. Some of you advise Esther for your own personal gain. Tavas was. Bad. And we sit on the truth and the people don't repent to forgive. Hey! <laughs> Mama Sarah Bunjo, I can't wait for you. I've missed you in a long time. Let me hope today I will see you. Because Saturday I did not really, really see you. I want to see you live. Number 15, which is our main script. But speaking the truth in love, in love, in love, open the bracket. Some of you say, I spoke in love to you. When I speak in love to you to stop doing the wrong you're doing, I am bad. But speaking of the truth in love, when you're speaking to me, that is love. When I'm speaking to you, that is what? Lugazi and disrespecting, right? 
rebellion. <laughs> you better go and listen to Apostle Chimuni's class. You better go to Mutunre Christian Fellowship. You better go and watch Bishop Duncan Williams. Those are giants in the delivering sex. You better go and listen to Pastor Musa too. Those are the guys the Lord is telling us to listen to as a master. They are the things you are attending. They are helping the baby to grow. You are still not yet given birth. You're still playing around. And some of you, the baby is already there, but it is suffocating. Why? Because we are in the labor world. If we've given birth, we are in the labor world. That baby needs to... Because some of you wanted a preemie. Why? Because you love the normal. Then some of you are taking too long. And the baby is overgrowing inside. That is where you find a woman in Gabam Gabam. Oh, man, I eat a You produce a baby and the baby has a skin that looks like an old woman or old man. But speaking the truth in love, in all things, both our speech and our lives, expressing his truth in let us grow up in all things into him, following his example, who is the head, Christ. From him, the whole body, the church, in all its various part, parts, joined and knitted firmly together by what every joint supplies, when each part of is working properly, causes the body to grow and mature, building itself up, in unselfish love. <clears throat> if you ignore or undermine the necessity of growth in your spiritual life, comma, it will not be long before you will suffer on the stormy seas of disappointment and despair. There must be growth and development comma or your spiritual life will found will founder on the rocks god makes many aids available to us for our spiritual growth comma but we should guard against the aids becoming goals in themselves i used to i don't like it i used not to like it when someone confronts me and tells me the the truth that I am doing something wrong. I used not to like it. But I found out that you yourselves, you don't like it. When me, I come to tell you the truth, that is a problem. Some of you close me out and you stop talking to me. But when it is time to discipline me, you come and bring out all your nails and some of you have already put your nails under my skin so that I listen exactly what you're saying. When I come out, Fellowship with believers is necessary, but if it does not have Christ at the center. <laughs> I wish I can meet the author of this book. Yeah. Fellowship with believers is necessary, but if it does not have Christ at the center, it serves no spiritual purpose. Bible study remains a source of continuous inspiration and guidance. But the purpose should always be to reveal Christ to the discipline and to glorify him. God, good deeds and charitable works are pleasing to God. But these should be the result of our relationship with Jesus Christ. And can never be a substitute for our faith in him. Amen and yes. Whether you do something for me good, whether I do for you something good or not, when the truth comes, I don't think about the good and the bad you've done for me. I give the truth the way it comes. There can be spiritual growth only if your main objective is to reflect the image of God more and more. This should be the heart's desire of every believing Christian, Christian discipline. 
my Lord and Redeemer, let your Holy Spirit take possession of me so that I will live for your glory only. Amen. <clears throat> Happy birthday to Okuk Oweri Godfrey, my guild president for my time. Happy birthday, Israel Mutebi, we used to work with in Kasese Koboi. Happy birthday, Nabale Winfred. I mean, I knew. <laughs> Mighty thing, buddy. Happy birthday to Jen, Namuri Kakande. Happy birthday to my Obi, Osama Kaima. Hey, hey. Happy birthday to my OB council. Edi Semambo, Celtic Cord. Happy birthday to everyone whom I did not get a notification. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, may the Lord increase you properly. Before I go into the American thing, the volatility has to come out. Starting August, we are saving money. Eh? We are saving money starting August. Make sure your volatility has a chi. Because you do not know the people you stay with. The Lord is in, you don't know whether the Lord is moving on a deeper level in their lives. We are in COVID season and we need the money. They will touch the the box and it will not be something nice. My dad used to have a tin, a long tin, where they would put their tithe. One time the money got disappeared. <laughs> I never knew that they had a tin. That is when I got to find out they had a tin. And my dad said, Who stole God's money? <laughs> Please get a volatile. Esther gets the saving skills from that side. Put double the 500 coin. I don't know whether you'll do it daily, weekly, every month. Do it as you can. It is not by force. We are sending Bombo to the TV station. To a level of satellite. You know how Channel 44 is on satellite? We are doubling the 500 coin because I used to keep 500 de coin when I was working. And that money came in handy when I went back to school in 2011. You know, I stopped working in 2010. Like working, working. Because I needed to go back to school. But the team, where I used to throw the 500 coin, it took me to another level. Now we are sending a bomb. You are the sponsor. We are not going to look for the Bazungu this time round. If the Bazungu want, they will fall in place. Why? Because Bombo is the general. Whether you like it or not, I told you go and read the Bible and ask the Lord. Let me show you that script. We are taking Bombo to a TV station, okay? The village needs a TV station. Why should they drive from Bombo? And they go to Ndeva, they go to Channel 44, they go to, you know we have many TVs. And they are all stationed in the city center. And for them they just send the wavelengths to the village. And the villagers are like, Vanange, we cannot descend, the frequency is not good, help us. Uh -uh. We are sending Bombo to the TV station. Amina Nyo, let me show you some scripture here which is very, very interesting. Beloved, do not believe every spirit is speaking through a self-proclaimed prophet. <laughs> Instead, test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets and teachers have gone out into the world. By this, you know the reco and recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges and confesses the fact that Jesus Christ has actually come in the flesh as a man from God, God is its source. I mean, you. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus according that he has come in the flesh, but who would deny any of the sons the true nature is not of God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have heard is coming and now is now already in the world. Hmm? Hey, let me stop there. 
If you don't feel it in your spirit, it is okay. But go and ask the Lord and find out whether Bombo is the genuine in the COVID-19. We are taking Bombo to the top by having a TV station so that they also stop having hiccups when they are teaching the internet goes off. Uh -uh, we are tired of those things. I love Miracle Center Cathedral. Do you know how they stand in the gap and support other places? They supported Nairobi and we got a summit. I mean, I knew they supported and you, they brought Benin on Zoom. <laughs> now, as a TV station, you're going to sow a seed into Bomba and it gets a TV station. Because the last time I checked, it is the people who stood in the gap and you go to the TV station. Amina nyo. Amina nyo. Pastors, amina nyo. Unit. The Bible has just talked about unit. You save money on a level you're at. Don't aim at a level which is not yours. Jacuba. That is why Esther and the makeup, they are not so much of friends. There are some things I cannot afford. So I stay away from them and I try to stay in the natural originality, availability, the word of God, righteousness, and the prayer as a lifestyle. We called it the billion dollar club. This club has a key. Please make sure your vault has a key. I see you enjoying Ibombo when they are teaching. But when the network, ah, I love those guys who start saying, but look at the network, the network. Eh, mwe ben singo kwa gala mwe. First August. We are kicking off by saving money. Then at the end of the week, you send money to Bombo. If you cannot do that and the money is not enough to be put on mobile money and they charge, charge you, please call Bombo and ask them to meet in a town and you give the money in person. You will see people like Jojo. Be sure you're seeing the real Jojo that you see on the internet. <laughs> because lately we have copycats of Jojo out there. Do you know that Uganda has copycats of Esther? Do you know that internet has multiplied, multiplied our accounts? Be very careful. Very, very careful when you're using mobile money. You have to be sure. Before you send the money, you, you've heard how Apostle Sarah sounds and Apostle Bunjo. If you want, you can do a video call to be sure you're talking to the right person. Okay? Wisdom is very important. Don't just put God's money in everyone's pocket. There are those who, are, who want to gain out of the COVID season. They are climbing on those things. You know how Miracle Center comes all the time and tells you, but Nage, those are not our sites. See, do. Wisdom is very important. Because there's someone who decided to become Pastor Jessica out there. Someone decided to become Junior Kayanja. Someone decided to become Pastor Robert out there. And they are stealing people's money like crazy. And for you, you're just follow following. Auntie, what to Gambia to get to Kayanja? Then you're going to find someone and they're like, ah, Katoinechi Zimba. Eh. Hey. Take a home to our word dollar. Then she won't answer Kayanja. The last time I checked, Pastor Robert never asks for money to pray for anyone. Never. The money he talks about is for buying that trucker that is going to take us and we preach the gospel because he is an evangelist. You did not know about that one. He's a miracle man with evangelism. That is easy office on a big level. These other things are gifts and talent. He is an evangelist. That is why he's a man of crusades. When he stands on a crusade, you don't chase. Even if you come on late to that man, you preaches. <laughs> and, the, and the demons walk out. That man preaches and people at home get healed. That man preached and the power of the Holy Ghost hit me the other side and the Lord paid my hospital bill. Why? Because he carries the presence of the Holy Spirit everywhere. Everything about him, he just holds the microphone and the Holy Spirit goes out of the screen and meets you. Now, my friends who started up your groups, do you carry the Holy Spirit? Your presence is 
Listen to me. Your presence is there. Oh, Jesus. Did you just sing the song? Oh, Jesus Christ. Your presence is the book. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Today we are going to look at William Micklin. And Hoover. Looking at my clock. It is a 4 sat, a 4 fort, And I have enough time to be done and we go ahead. William Micklin. His over. His overseas prose brought prosperity. Uh -huh. You have overseas friends. <laughs> you have a project. This devotion was mainly for people who have projects, who are starting projects, who are going into the political arena. You know how you use all your circles. Enjoy the American history through their presidency. William McLean, his overseas prose brought prosperity. We will find out what the prose, P-R-O-W-E-S-S means. As a congressman, William McLean's Traff Tariff Act of 1990 imparted steady, in, imparted steady increases on uh, tariff as a congressman, comma, William McLean's Tariff Act of 1990 imparted steady increases on imported goods. You know when you're reading, you need to understand the tenses and how, don't just read for, uh, we are putting the English classes, the GP classes into play, okay? Okay. Coupled with business-friendly domestic policies, it generated both high industrial profit and steady blue color, sorry, blue collar work, comma, soothing a populacy still shaken from the depression of 1893. His favor amongst big, 1893, it was Harrison Benjamin who was the president. You see how each other, they look at each other. <laughs> His favor amongst big business entities led populist, popul, eh, populist Democratic William Jennings Bryan to attack McLean as a puppet of industrial monopolies. Bryan's radical financial stance, however, proved too risky for a nation set on regaining its footing and McLean defeated him. The president's boldest reconstructive moves occurred on foreign soil where he expanded America's role in the world affairs as well as its territorial holdings. In 1898, Spain's impression of native Cuban revolutionaries led to the in incidental expression of U.S. battleship Maine in Havan, resulting in the Spanish-American War. A swift conflict that gained Cuba its independence while earning America possession of Puerto Rico, Guma, and the Philippines. Now, you see how people are not patient with others. Then they come and call them names. They've not given them a platform to find out what exactly they want. Because they are impatient and they don't like the truth. Today's Bible study. This Maclean was supposed to be for yesterday, 26. Because his friends were not patient with him, your political people, your friends are not impatient. Are not patient with you. They don't know that they never grew up with you, so that you can change how you think, how you see things. Some of them are very rigid; they never change. Why? Because we have what we call originality, and you don't have a choice. If you love the person, you work with them and their originality, availability righteousness the word of god and prayer as a lifestyle that is my brand
the word of God, my dad emphasized that word when I was growing up. The prayer life, my mother is an intercessor. <laughs> then I meet men like Pastor Ben Ochola. I meet men like, oh, never give up. Pastor Roland, when he was at me, hey, my friend. The church, Kabo, I redeemed where I come from, people can pray. Pastor Musa Ture can pray. His life is a prayer. There are people who, when they start to pray, don't chase. I have friends who can pray. But if you're not a patient type, you cannot handle being around some of us. I was never patient, but my brother helped me to understand. If, no, if, my brother helped me to work with passion. Because he told me, if Esther, you're working because of, because of money, you're going to die of stress. He told me you're going to take that suit and the person says they don't like it. And it happened several times. And you know what I did? There's a lady who thought she's Yakola Mu because she's selling the hair, women hair, in that building. Please stop disrespecting people. She's like, she's the one who made the order. I spent the entire night making this beautiful candy gun. You know there are sweaters and card guns, right? A sweater is the one closed. A cardigan is open. It had pockets. It was a peach in color. I put a scarf. Why? Because Pastor Guam had given me a sweater and he wanted it in a particular way. I will show you the kind of sweater I made. It did not fit him. That man is big in his size. I was like, Lord. Everything I made for him refused to fit. And I told them, please take it. And they gave it to their daughter, I think. When someone rejected my work that I put in love, I, and I charged her only 50,000 Ugandan shillings. And when you find those sweaters, if you don't have more than, those are designer sweaters. If you don't have more than 100 and up, you don't get that sweater out of the shop. You don't, because the thread I used was coming from UK. What are you talking about? I looked at this lady. I went and I sold the seed into a pastor's wife. And she was very happy. I know she's still wearing the sweater. I am the type. I'm like, Lord, I'm not selling this sweater. No. I spent my entire night. I did not sleep. And someone disrespect my work like that. When it's them that made the order, I was like, Lord. William Street. I went and I gave her the sweater and I told her, Mom, may the Lord bless you. And I walked out. I made a sweater for Pastor Rugama. It did not fit. Mama was like, mm -mm. There was a secret behind me wanting to give Pastor Rugama a sweater. I was like, Mama, tumuleke. Lumba. Nenumba. I got, I made a scarf. I told him. Whether you wear it or not, this is my seed. That is Esther when she doesn't have money to sow a seed. I made a sweater for Pastor Ben. I gave him two of them. That is Esther. When she sees an anointing, she taps in. I tapped in. When I see that man pray, I just see the Lord move on a big why? I told God I am tapping in this business. I need to go to another level. I need a big school. I need a factory. Instead of talking, living the normal. I made Pastor Ben a sword. I gave him two and I gave him a kokumpe, the, the hood. I gave Pastor Ben a hood but it was in another color. And I made sure the things I saw. The thread was coming from straight UK, not that Kampala thread you have. The yarn. Because I needed prosperity in my things, I needed to grow on a bigger level. What are you talking about? Because I didn't have a job, I had only this one. 
And those were sweaters I was selling them a maximum of 50,000 Ugandan shillings. Now, if I'm to make for you something and you want to buy it, be careful. My sister told me, higher level, higher devil. Someone said came. Some people even think that the pictures I posted are old and new things. No, my friend, that is an old project. I am buying a new machine and I am going to take it to another level. Why, there are some two twins and they grew now. They supported my work when those girls were babies. I asked their mother, do the sweaters fit the girls anymore? She's like, hey, we need yours. I'm like, I'm finished. Mama. I am going to make, and long I'm going to make the sweaters for the twins. My brother Ivan, you're getting your sweater set. And this one is more improved. Why? Because I'm an expert now. <laughs> Being patient with people is very key. Respecting people's work. That woman looked at me and she's like, the friend, I had a sweater for a school, a school child. The friend looked at me, looked at her. I looked at her like this and she said, I will not take the sweater, it is very heavy. I, I told her, I explained to her when I, she was making an order. I, I looked at her like this. And I'm like, this woman thinks she paid my school fees. I almost told her, do you know that I'm a master as a whole? <laughs> you know, I looked at this woman, eh, disrespecting my work. And I'm like, that reminded me of someone's sister who looked at me and said, Wasomako, Ugandans. I had gray hair. I was looking so miserable. I was leaving the country. The lady asked me, Wasomako. Because for her, she's a manager in the bank. And she's then on the top. I looked at her like this. Eh? And for her, she thought they are shipping a maid to the U.S. Eh, very, very sorry. Learn to respect people. I, I was bold. I got annoyed. I told her, I am an environmental engineer. And I did a master's in renewable energy. And I majored in biogas. That is how far I went. But inside I was boiling. <laughs> that is why the Lord told me, Esther, be careful with your anger. And you know, when I get stressed, my hair is full of gray hair. I had just opened my hair. I had lost a lot of weight. My jaw was looking funny. Like basically, I almost teared and I was fighting with words. You need to go very fast, very now. I looked at her and I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I am waiting for my suitcase and my money for the air ticket. And I have to go to hospital and I get my glasses. No, in America! Why am I giving you all this? You need to be very careful when you're disrespecting people. You don't give birth to me, you don't know me, you've just seen me. Please uh, stop disrespecting people, Ugandans. You don't know people. You're going to disrespect the only person who is going to give you a job. When they fired you from that small job you think you're big. I will never forget that. I was disrespected to a level of being put down. She thought they are taking a maid. And they said they worked on my papers. <laughs> ah, yes, what in ages, sir. Uganda, you need to wake up. You have sown a very bad seed. Me losing weight and looking miserable and sick does not give you the right to disrespect me. The things I do, some of you cannot do. Okay? Devotion time, helping those who are building brands. You, you have a lot of money. Yes, you are married, you have kids. It does not give you a right to disrespect me who is still a single, who has no house, who has no car, whose parents have no house. It does not give you any room. 
Why? Because I might be the last person who will listen to you, understand you when your friends have walked out. I might be the only person who will help you when the high horse collapses and there are no legs and you lose the job, you even lose where to stay, and Esther sends you your rent. Friends, this is the day that the Lord has made that you live the normal. Jojo, thank you for today's class. All of that is in line with grow through the truth. Don't be impatient. Stop disrespecting the fivefold ministries. Stop disrespecting people. You're going to disrespect to that woman you're finding selling tomatoes. But if you find out their story, everyone has a story. You will be surprised how those guys are holding bachelor's degrees and master's and PhDs. But because that life became a problem, they decided to go and look for money that way. This cup was given to me as a present from the library. I volunteer in the library. It is COVID-19 that has cut off the volunteer since 2017 in March. I've been volunteering. I go. I am a computer help desk. I help the homeless people, the seniors, with their computer life. I sit there and I listen to them. Some shout at me, yet they are homeless. And I just smile. There's a time a lady shouted at me. I looked at her. I got so annoyed. I worked on her anyway. Now when she left, she came with her daughters. When she left, the Holy Spirit is like follow suit. When I followed, followed the suit and I heard their story, I cried my head out. And that day, thank the Lord, I had $20 in my pocket. I gave them $20. What so annoyed me that really broke my heart, the church they were going to, a boy in church raped one of the girls. The old girl. And because I told her, can't you look for church? She's like, I don't want to go to church. They raped my daughter and when I reported, I became the bad one. Why? Because I don't have where to stay. Everyone has a story. This is a person who came and shouted at me and disrespected me. I looked at her and I kept quiet. I did what they wanted. Then because she's homeless... Later, when she understood what I was telling her, she started giving me the story. I just looked at her and kept quiet and continued with what she wanted. And she had come late because the, the library was closing. She talked as I listened, but I was looking down in my misery of being disrespected. <laughs> when they left, I cleared up everything. They were leaving and the Holy Spirit is like, follow suit. I'm like, ha. I think abazungu. Abazungu, say abadugavu, say aba, say aba mixed, abazungu. Beba itako keje. I followed suit. I don't care whether you've lied to me in your situation, I don't. You're lying to God, not Esther. When I saw them again after that day, they looked a bit different from the other time. These girls, the oldest was, I think, 11 or 10. She was raped from church. Next came the open door policy. Opening the Chinese trade market and allowing the U.S. McCain, William McLean was disrespected by people who were not patient with him. Who do not want the truth. Opening the Chinese trade market and allowing the U.S. to stake crucial commercial interests in the region. The consequent boxer rebellion, the consequent boxer rebellion, a Chinese nationalist conflict that threatened the policy was swiftly suppressed in a high policy display of America's growing global power. McLean's second term came to an end when unemployed anti unemployed an eh? 
arches, A-N-A-R-C-H-I-S-T, shot him twice in the chest. Your friends are going to shoot you and you die. They will use their tongue. You know how we are reading the book, Does Your Tongue Need Healing? They shot him twice in the chest. You're entering that political arena, but will be ready for disaster. There are people in there who are very selfish. Are you ready for the bullet in the chest, in the leg, in the head? But now lately we have bullets using the mouth. They are going to attack that small family of yours. Grenell set in and he died eight days later. The 25th president, 1897-1901, born January 29, 1843, Niels, Ohio, died September 14, 1901, Buffalo, New York. Education, Ab Albany Law School, he was a lawyer. Edge at inauguration 54, Vice President Gra uh, Garrett A. Hobart, Theodore Roosevelt, opponent William Jennings Bryan, First Lady Ida, and you know how Jennings attacked McLean as a puppet of industrial monopolies. We are going to stop there because the next session has something like that. The hard times. The president is looked to when the nation is knocked down. <laughs> Catastrophic storms, terrorist attacks, and an economic collapse have all shown these leaders a true ability to shepherd the country during its darkest days. The aftermath, math, the aftermath, math as in a, a mathematics. President George W. Bush sits on the steps of Patrick Wells' parents' house in Biloxi, Mississippi, after Hurricane Katrina. Now, President Museveni is seated where you with it during the COVID-19. Let us sing the song, Grand I Close. Don't forget, 1st August, we are starting the Bidioni Kirabu and taking a bombo to the powerhouse station television. Let me tell you something. You're not helping Bombo. You're helping yourself. Why? Bombo serves a living God. When you give God your money, you're not helping God. You're helping yourself to go to another level in your financial life. Because some of you are like, ah, fetwa yamvye. The way I was told, the fetwa yamva. That's what you thought. You did not know that 2020 is coming. You did not know the stranger in the mix. Hey! When you give God money, when you help anyone, you're sowing your own seed and you're putting in the bank account in heaven. They don't take out your woman and use it anyhow. They don't tax that money. But if you haven't been giving a 10%, I mean, I knew. You're actually sowing a seed for yourself. That is what it means. For you, you have the gospel of our Sumaba Basentes of faith. When you're taking money to the witch doctors, you don't tell them that they are stealing your money. Why is it that the pastors are the ones stealing the money? It is because you don't read the word of God to understand how finances work. We handled God's economy. Did you attend? And you also want your project to go to another level. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. You don't attend Esther's class, she will attend your things. Because Esther's class, you're busy all the time. Who are you? Why do you want me to call you? And you're also a servant of the Most High God. We all need repentance. That so-called class you're in, this is the day that the Lord has made that we should leave the norm. You are called to be a shepherd. And what do you say to deceive 
I am a sheep, my friend. You're supposed to be following me around because I am a sheep, you're the shepherd. You're supposed to tender me. Make sure I am in line and you guide me. Go here, Esther, go here. The, this is the grass you're supposed to eat. Don't eat that grass. That is what David did. Akagombe we kalivu ge chisera chiwede Olu na kolulu njiwe rulicha Banu nule ngaba kunga nye mitala womu ga Ngaba yita manya nangendi wai Nyabu nyabu Ngaba rita amanya Bweba rita amanya Bweba rita Amanya, buwebalita, amanya ndiva yo. Oru na kuweru licha, awafune vazukira. Mochitiwa cho, mochitiwa echo kuzukira kwe. Ngaba lundeweba kunga nye mumaka muguru. Ngaba yita manya nange ndiva yo. Nyabu nyabu, buwebalita. Owe valita, omanya, owe valita, omanya diva yo. Leka tu mukore le muka mukuzi vyo vude, tuogere kuvulu nji wevuli jo. Bula muvu no wevuli gwe mirimu ji kome ngaba yi. your life in order when you see Esther with your picture you're like in best vapor right my friends the last time I checked I was just honoring the fact that my parents walked with your parents in the Lord hey hey it was all out of love I interfere in your things I've walked with you for years and you said what <laughs> Parents, you need to put your kids in order and tell them the truth of the history of how you walked with each other in the Lord, how things are done. Before they make mistakes, the same mistakes you made when you were in church those years. Because some of the parents, the Lord left. The Lord got annoyed because of the things you said about yourselves. I told you, now let me leave with the parents, the younger shepherds, be very careful. When you're fighting with each other, make sure you don't involve your kids. Make sure when you're pointing fingers like this, your kids are not watching. Because your kid, history repeats itself. My father fell a victim of your words, my friends. And some of the kids inherited and Esther became a victim. Why? Because Esther loves being everywhere. Let us support this one. Bambi, let us support this one. Bambi, this one is getting married. Bambi, this one. That is how I do with my friends too. I stand in the gap for my friends. Whether I'm home or not. You called it to get in Mexico. Enjoy the ride. And some family members think the same thing. The last time I checked when I was struggling with my parents, you were not there. You never came to visit us. Yet my father took me around visiting, visiting all the time. Bwebarita, growing through the truth. Amanya. Me, I support my family members. When they are singing, I will let you. When they are running, I will let you. When they are playing cricket, I will let you. When they go to basketball, I will let you. Everywhere yeah, it is me, I will let you. I will let you. I will let you. For you, you don't support each other. Enjoy the ride. When it's birthday time, we celebrate all our family members on an equal level. You called it what? Whatever. 
Yesu mukwano gwa fe Aja we vivia fe O cha muendo wo musaba No muri avyo na E mirembe jitula Nena kuzituluma Rakuanga tule medua Kumulida vyena Ebi zivu nevi kemo Bihi no kutega niziwa Bihi menga kututisa Gwe mulide vyena Ye womu kwa no mwesigwa Atu takabanira Hey Ya manyobu nafuwa Ye tatuwe mukira Bwe tuvera no bunafu No kwera likirira Ye chachidu kilo chape Tumuride vyena Mi kwa no we jitu vako Ne jitu we mukira Tumukavira tuonye Yes, tajuru kuka One more song and we live Amina nyo this song is dedicated to those who made their birthdays. May the Lord speak to you through this song. May the Lord speak to you through this song. Uh, may the Lord speak to you on a bigger level through this song. Sorry for the toop toop from uh, my friends who are busy in their groups and doing their own things. Uh, they have many groups. See? I made a mistake eh, of not putting my phone on the side and see why because I thought the sound is disturbing us here. Very, very sorry about that. Because I asked someone to tell me whether my sound is okay or did not, then I increased my phone and instead it is giving us a feedback. I'm very, very sorry about that. Next time when I ask for Seuti, please you answer me back. I thank you plenty. May this song speak to those who have have made their birthday, have made it today. Oh, Coco, where the man who was my guild president, my year. Huh. I salute you, Sebo. I salute you, Dr. Okuko, where I salute you, my teething buddy. I call her my teething buddy, Nabali Winfred. That is my primary, primary school OG. From there up to now, we are still... Mm. I salute you, my OB, Kaima Osama. I salute you, my OB, a, a Council Eddie. Hey, Eddie Semambo. I salute you, happy birthday. I salute you, Mama Jenny, Namurika Kande. She's a friend to Ivan Selebe. That's how I get to know all these people. And there's a younger man, Isaac Matz, I think. It is his birthday. Uh, I've made many friends today. Today it is on another level. And happy birthday to Israel Mutevi. All the way in Kasese Kobold. Was I don't think he's still there. Erinya ya Yesu dunji eri akiriza Ganzi. This is the song I left you, my friend. This is the song. Enjoy it too. And those other birthday people behind the year, you know, you are celebrity. Mrs. Doctor Musau Lawrence Chamka. Happy birthday. And Vicky Amanda, happy birthday, my service provider. And the others whose birthday we've been celebrating here and there, happy birthday to you. May the song soothe your spirit. Liteleza no moyo gwe Elinyiga biyondu Yemere yomu yalera Liumu za koye Erinya ganzi wera 
kwente kenju yangi liye guanika eri taguamu emi rembe jona musuma wange mkwebaza mulo kozi wange bula mu wange mkwebaza ire kuburi yange echi sacho echi takoma ntegeze bulijo eri nyalyo linsanyu se muntukezo kufa Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your word. Lord, I surrender today into your hands. I surrender all those who are starting new projects. I surrender the pregnant women who haven't yet given birth. I surrender those who are joining the political arena. Father, I pray that they grow through the truth. I pray that they grow through patience, Lord. They, they become patient. They get to the level of knowing how to be patient with people and those around them. Father, I pray that those who are starting a new projects, Lord, they use the truth. They wear that belt of truth in their waist so that they can go to another level. And they can be able to work with others and respecting people and respecting the fivefold ministries. I seal this life in the blood. Father, as we are taking on the billion dollar club, Father, I pray, the billion club, I pray that you provide and you lead this club because, Lord, we are doing your work. Father, we want the TV station so that they are not cut off all the time. So that they can sit and preach the word and not run around. Now I am going to rest TV. Now I have to go to Channel 44. Now I gave, they gave me a platform on Impact TV. I hear they gave me a platform on Dream TV. Uh -uh. We need the village to settle also and stop moving moving here and there. They do a Zoom connect to the TV station and all the TV stations enjoy the, the, the thing. Why? Because Lord, you want church in unity. So that they don't run around and go to Google Dead TV. Uh -uh. They sit in Bombo, settle in Bombo, make sure Bombo is developing with other villages around so that it spreads and comes back to Kampala. Because, Lord, the last time I checked, President Museven has never won in Kampala. The only capital city of Kampala has a lot of drama, a lot of misery, a lot of it. And funny enough, most of them never vote. All the votes come from the villages. And the politicians settle in Kampala and forget that Kampala is just a capital city of Uganda. People come and they get out and go back to their villages. Why? Because the wisdom is not for everyone. Lord, I pray that those who are coming into the political arena, they put wisdom when they are looking for a vote. They first pray to you and ask you, Lord, are you part of this new project? Are you part of the, my candidate? So that, Lord, we are able to get only David's not soul. Because you said if a soul is brought, that is the end of the soul. Lord, I don't want to see anyone die. I don't want to see any war anymore. Father, I pray that Uganda respects instruction so that you lift the burden, you lift the curse. And they open the airport so that people can go back home and see their people and be with their people and enjoy their families because you said you want family altars built back. Father, I pray for the sick. Heal them completely, completely. I pray for good health. Those that got doctor's reports that are so absurd and very hurting. Father, it is only you who can change the report because you ask us whose report shall we believe. We shall believe the report of the Lord. Father, I pray for healing. Using Mukasa Luwama's father as a point of contact. Father, I cast out the spirit of cancer out of everybody that was given a report that they, are, they have cancer. I drag it out in the name of Jesus. Cancer, you have no authority. Cancer, you have no authority on humanity. I rebuke you from the root. I uproot you. You are a generational curse. Now I burn you down to the grave and send you to the pit of hell of fire. 
No more. You're not their portion. No more. That body, that throat of Mokasa's dad is to sing for Christ. He's a man who sings. He's a man who blows the trumpet for Jesus. Lord, you're healing him from the crown of his head to the heel of the foot. He is a point of contact to the rest of those who are diagnosed with cancer this season. Lord, you're healing him. You're supplying all that they need during this time. Father, you're lifting the burden. You're lifting the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing is their portion. Healing is their portion. Father, heal everyone who has cancer during COVID-19 and they will know that there is a God in heaven. An answer. To have five. Heal and open their uterus to, help, to carry fibers. I pray for the men and women who don't have jobs. Lord, you say in your word that you shall supply. You, you shall supply according to you supply all according to your riches in glory. Supply, Lord. Supply financially. Supply, Lord. I know you have the jobs. When I wrote a letter to you, Lord, you provided. You gave me work. to fresh for them. I repent on behalf of all projects that were started without you. Forgive us, Lord. And we are starting afresh. I give you praise. I give you glory. I seal this life in the blood that whoever will come and watch will be delivered. Whoever will come and watch, they will change the way they see things, especially in line with God. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, save everything that is not of you and leave only what is yours to help us as a church. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen and amen. Have a blessed evening, Uganda, a blessed morning, the U.S., a blessed evening in London, in Europe, and China. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for a special service. Bye-bye. Make sure you watch Push. Never give up. Pastor, Pastor Ben Ochola, make sure you're watching Pastor Tom Ogerua, you're watching Archbishop Duncan Williams, you're watching Stand, Tampa, Florida, Pastor Rodney. Make sure you're watching Pastor Musa Toure. I've already published his things. You can find him on YouTube. He's called Dr. Reverend. He first became a doctor before he got saved. Don't joke around. He's a man of the books. He studied. He studied. He studied that one. Don't joke. He studied. You should read his biography. He was a pilot. He studied, my friend. He, did. he does not just carry the names. He studied, okay? Read his biography. It is open. Those are men that whose life is open. It is not Urugambo. He got his doctorate. Amin and you? He's a reverend and he's a watchman. Apostle Chimoli is a teacher who recently, you know, I follow, follow around. I met Pastor Arthur Samba. You better go to Apostle Suwi's page. I keep posting him once in a while. He's a lunch hour. I found Pastor Arthur Samba teaching and the Kenyans agreed they had no choice but to walk. I will publish it again and you watch for yourself. He was there for five, I think, five consecutive days or three or four. And you will enjoy. Have a lovely day. Make sure you attend those that it's a must. Bombo. Never give up. Push the stand. Pastor Mark Chigos and the wife. Pastor Benochon. Stand in Florida. And the Go Nations is the last one. I don't know when you'll watch all of those Enjoy yourself. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.